Hey guys, latest news with Crypto Marie, local and international. Black women criminally charged after miscarriage shows perils of post war. Britney Watts awaits grand jury action. Her case has sparked a firestorm over the plight of pregnant women, especially women of color, following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Ohio wars and the throes of bitter debate over abortion rights. This fall, when Brittany was 21 weeks and five days pregnant, began passing thick blood clots. The 33-year-old Watts, who had not shared the news of her pregnancy even with her family, made her first prenatal visit to a doctor's office behind Mercy Health St. Joseph's Hospital in Warren, a working-class city about 60 miles, 100 kilometers southeast of Cleveland. The doctor said that while a fatal heartbeat was still present, Watts' water had broken prematurely and the fetus she was carrying would not survive. He advised heading to the hospital to have her labor induced so she could have what amounted to an abortion to deliver the non-viable fetus. Otherwise, she would face significant risk of death according to records of her case. That was a Tuesday in September. What followed was a horroring three days entailing multiple trips to the hospital, what's miscarrying into, and then flushing and plunging a toilet at her home. A police investigation of those actions and what's who is black being charged with abuse of a corpse. That's a fifth degree felony punishable by up to a year in prison and a $2,500 fine. Her case was sent last month to a grand jury. It has touched off a national firestorm over the treatment of pregnant women and especially black women in the aftermath of the U.S. Supreme Court's Dubs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization decision that overturned Roe versus Wade civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump elevated Watts plight in a post to X formerly known as Twitter and supporters have donated more than $100,000 through GoFundMe for her legal defense, medical bills, and trauma counseling. I was thinking about it. Do they even think about her trauma, her mental status, that she's been through this tough time? Being pregnant for five months, five days, you almost there. You can hear movement, heartbeat. Like you getting ready to give birth and four and a half months. Now for her to be being going through that kind of trauma in her life, I'm sure she would not want to abort her babies. When it comes to black women, that's one thing I can speak of myself as a single mom of four. I never thought about about a child when I am pregnant. It doesn't matter the condition, the situation. I'm always the happiest one to carry my child to full term. So if something like that happened to her, it wasn't her fault. It wasn't like she wanted to abort the child. It happened. Things happen. Life happens. So for her to be in blame, put to jail and pay a fine, it just doesn't make any sense. What happened to her mental recovery? Would this woman would ever be able to go back to normal and live a normal life after that happened to her. It just doesn't make any sense. It's sad to see how they treat us. When it comes to something like this, it's heartbreaking for real. Her case was sent last month to a grand jury. Okay, I read this already, sorry. Whether abortion seekers should face criminal charges is a matter of debate within the anti-abortion community, but post dubs Pregnant woman like what who was not even trying to get an abortion, it just doesn't make any sense, have increasingly found themselves charged with crimes against their own pregnancies, said Grace Howard, assistant justice studied professor at San Jose State University. War was a clear legal 
word block to charging felonies for unintentional unintentionally harming pregnancies when women were legally allowed to end their pregnancies through abortion. She said, now that war is gone, that war block is entirely gone. It just doesn't make any sense here. We have another case where this white woman is pregnant, don't want her child, want to abort the child, and um, it's being treated differently. It is really hard for me not to bring the differences of white and black here in America. When it's in our faces, judgment is not being served the same way. They see things differently. This woman right now is fighting because she doesn't want to keep the baby. This one wanted to keep her baby. Unfortunately, something happened. Now she's being charged like that. Can you please help me make that make sense? Because I just don't get it. Again... It's not easy, man. It's not easy. It's not easy. I'm worried about her mindset, um, her mental status right now, because to lose a child in that late stage of pregnancy, it could be traumatizing. And nobody cares about that. They worry about, okay, she abused the cops. She abused the non-viable life of the baby that was not survived. But they don't care about what she been through, her mindset, what went through her head at that moment when the doctor say, well, you're not going to be having the child. The, the baby is not gonna to, going to survive. It just doesn't make any sense. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. I did not finish reading the whole thing because I wanted to bring up the white lady that is now pregnant and now seeking to abort because she doesn't want to carry the baby. Do you see the differences now? Do you see how things can you know certain things you can't you just can't say it subscribe let me know how you feel bye thank